In this video, I'm going to show you how to use gradients in your InDesign project. And to do this, you need to have two tools showing, your swatches and also your gradient palette. Mine isn't on here, so I'm going to turn it on real quick. Go to the window, color, and, whoops, and gradient. In order for this tool to work, you have to have them showing at the same time. So don't dock gradient for now, just keep it side by side because you need to be able to drag your swatches into that gradient palette. So I'm gonna make a rectangle shape and this is gonna be the background of the design. Right now it's just filled with blue. If I make sure that it's selected with my black arrow, go to gradients. When I first turn on the gradient tool, it's gonna to be my standard white and black. If I wanna change those, I can drag one of my pre-made swatches to that area. You can also drag in the middle and do all kinds of crazy stuff. I don't suggest you get too crazy because you don't want it to look really busy. But as you, you can, and if you don't like something, you can always drag one of the boxes down and release. So you can move this middle area down and so it'll make this side darker or this side lighter, whichever swatch. You can also move the actual swatch itself. You can change the angle of it to make it tilted. You can make it radial. You can change a color, drop it in the box, nothing is solid. If you like the look, you can also add it as a swatch. So it would, you would just hit over here this little um, new swatch and it adds it as a gradient swatch because the box is selected and it's the fill color over here. So it turns it into a swatch. So then you can apply it to text if you want to. I'm gonna do it all over to the side just to show you what that looks like. So now you have a gradient text. You can do all kinds of stuff once it becomes a swatch. They just treat it like an actual color. You can also do what's called a feather gradient, which means that the gradient begins to disappear at a certain point. So if I use this line, I'm just clicking and dragging the line, it does a nice subtle gradient. And I actually really like this because if I were to add photos in here, it would be a nice background and it's not super busy. So I can add photos up in this area and I can add my text down here so that I'm not forced to do reverse text at the bottom. I think this is a nice look and it, it makes it to where your eyes follow from the top to the bottom. And you can always just reverse it by turning on your black arrow and rotating it. I just held down shift to make it perfect 180 degrees. So zooming out, if I were to add photos at the bottom, let's say I have like a group of people with the outline removed, then you could easily add that here and have a nice look. To give an example of what I'm talking about, I have a photo that has a background removed that I can add to the bottom and to begin to create a design. You can also take this and say if it's too harsh, which I think this is a great look, but say if it's too harsh, you can move the opacity down. So it's a very subtle background. And I'm gonna turn it on preview mode, hitting the letter W so you can see what it would look like. It's, it's nice and clean and looks professional. 